Who benefits your life? Today I'm gonna to be talking about this recent update of the Draw Things app, and this one is actually only specific for Mac OS, iPad, and iPhone. All right, and it's better if you have like M1 or M2 chips. But I'm just gonna show you the process anyway. So the latest updates of this app is this uh, preview Control Net support. Okay, I talk about Control Net in the past few videos. Um, with this release, uh, there are two supports. Like the first one is Canny Edge Map Detection, and then also Depth Map. And maybe uh, Open Post will be supported in the near future, hopefully. So with Canny Edge Map, uh, when you're doing image to image, it will keep the shape intact. What with, with the Depth Map, um, it's similar to if you are using like a iPhone portrait mode and you get the depth data or if you are rendering using Blender and you output the depth and then copy paste it into Draw Things app okay so I end up with this monkey shaman uh, okay let me show you okay this is the Draw Things app uh, I show you this app in a bit uh, like in the previous video and what's really different now is that with this option here we have control by default it might be disabled and this is kind of like a pre-processing before the AI took over and then kind of make something based on your prompt so yeah this with this one I'm using depth data I think but I think the AI is going a little bit crazy with because the because the original image was actually I I think it might be using this last one or it's supposed to use this image and I did use that and then use it with canny canny edge map detections and we get uh, something that's more or less like a two Susan monkey head and then I get a little bit creative with the prompt okay um, yeah with the canny of course we already I already show you before with the canny any edge detect it takes your image or your 3d render or whatever your photos and it's gonna turn it into these lines and then the AI will based on these lines it will create uh, variations or something based on your prompt canny edge maps the the depth however the depth can sometimes work really really well um, this is one with segmentation maybe I'll, I'll talk in, in the next video but the one with the depth um, this one with the pose the depth is supposed to be, to be working really well but I I still prefer like using uh, our own depth map but uh, let's try actually let's try something okay we have this uh, monkey head as usual it's using EV if I'm using cycles not much different because it's super basic anyway make a quick render save as depth map let's say we start again uh, project new project so everything is empty and we um, we need first of all we need to have like a good AI model uh, whether you want to use 2.1 or just the 1.5 that has been trained like Photogene that's a really good one Delfa, Delfecho painting we can actually start with Delfecho painting and then let's use Canny Edge Map and here right click actually uh, right click here and then select from files I'm gonna select the, the monkey head so this is 512 by 512 I can turn off the upscaler and also I will turn off the high resolution peaks for now yeah just like this I will create a, I will just generate actually this is the example original uh, example prompt and I'm using Kenny edge map let's take a look Painting established shot of small modern Osaka house pitch roof. Okay, it's, it's more like more for architecture, but we are using this 
image to start with, which is nothing, nothing to do with architecture, but it does try to create something that's based on this. So you can see how they two kind of related. Okay, so you can say painting of painting of sculpture of monkey heads inside. New York house, pitch roof. Oh, we don't need this. Trending on Pixiv, beautiful gouache painting by Miyazaki Hayao. Uh, you can be creative with it, this uh, artist name. You can actually just put a random stuff, even like sometimes you can use emoji and it, it will create something. And this one is running on M2 Pro, so it's a little bit faster, maybe. 30 seconds up to one minute it depends now we have something slightly different i believe this one is actually using this to start with so maybe i should start with the monkey head and generate once again uh, i haven't used the negative prompt i should actually put something on the negative prompt but the process is uh, is going to be involving a lot of prompting and you will see the result and then sometimes you want to have more than one variations maybe 10 variations and then you pick the one you like for a ne negative prompt let's say he says uh, uh, we don't want ugly we want we don't want blur we don't want watermark and worse quality mm, sculpture of monkey heads Instead, inside of Japanese house, trending on Pixiv. Okay, let's try make four based on the monkey head. Okay, this one actually might be based on this. So I have to stop that. Um, right click, select from files again. Okay, this should actually use this last image. So it's gonna keep building up. And this is only like a like a preview, right? It's only level one. You can actually turn on the the upscaler, and there's a lot of things that you can do. This is like kind of like an app on itself. Yeah, <laughs> it's generating like human face instead of monkey heads. Uh, could be like a doll, but but the AI thinks this image is kind of funky and it's generating human heads let's try again select from files let's try something a little bit more interesting let's use actually use like a proto G sculpture okay hyper realistic sculpture of monkey heads cyberpunk inside retro house trending oh we don't need trending on pixiv gouache we don't need all those maybe leave unreal engine we can say cinematic lighting okay this should generally work we can try using lexica to get a better prompt lexica Oh, this is Protogen, by the way. One of the uh, lots of models at cfit.ai. Uh, Protogen is one that gives a lot of realism. It's not perfect, but still uh, useful. Yeah, oops. Cyberpunk is always the safest one to try. Cyberpunk sculpture any robots kind of prompt I really like this shaman um, 
we can try that in a bit. Yeah, okay. We're starting to get two monkey heads. The direction, everything, it looks slightly different, but we might get lucky and <laughs> yeah, this one actually looks perfect. Just like the monkey heads that we are expecting. Let's stop that. Let's try again. Select from files. And instead of using canny edge, let's try using death map. Hyperrealistic sculpture of monkey heads. Cyberpunk. So this is like a, you can think of it. It's a little bit. There is a little bit of pre-processing, turning this this one. This image doesn't have death data, but this uh, this is gonna do like pre-processing and then use the death map model to generate something. Oh wait, are we not getting anything? That's weird. Maybe. There might be a bug. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, copy clone. Let's stop that. Okay. I will try to make recreate this monkey shaman in a bit. If I'm using terminal, if I'm using different methods. Stable Diffusion Web UI by Automatic 1111. No half. Yeah, this is like a little bit more advanced, but definitely if you're able to use the Web UI, then this tutorial probably, you don't really need this tutorial, but I also want to show you this app, Draw Things app which I think super cool. Uh, let's try cyber robot. Okay, cyber robot head monkey with intricate electronic computer blah, 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 sampler. Let's reduce this text guidance. We can turn on high resolution fix and we can Okay, upscaler, we don't need that. But the high resolution fix is actually really fast on DrawThings app, which is incredible. The first pass will create a smaller image. The second pass will use 70%. And that usually can generate something that's really high quality and it's really amazing. Okay, this guy is running now. Okay, this is WebUI 1111. So sometimes I often run two of these uh, stable diffusion model running at the same time maybe not really recommended but let's try protogene let it let it load this is one slightly more advanced but the same same process you start with an image and you want to do some kind of diffusion AI diffusions this is 512 by 512, easy, simple, control net, let's enable control net, preprocessor is going to be canny model, we can use the canny, this one is the, ori the original, this one is slightly smaller and faster, everything else as it is, monkey head, the same monkey head, so with image to image, it's going to look at this and then use the control net and then it will draw something while using this guidance as well so it's slightly there's a lot of things going on ah. okay it does produce something oh okay okay not not bad i still prefer canny edge detection so uh try again canny edge map seems to be more coherent with whatever you see here any 3d render the f the reason i'm using blender the reason we all use blender because it takes 3d models and it, it does a lot of cool things you can use geometry nodes create abstract shapes 
and then use a simple shapes. This one is of course too simple, in fact, but still you can use Kenny and Dev Map just to reimagine it using whatever you prompted here. So if I use the uh, the shaman, oh look at that. This one, yeah. If you look at the description, you actually still have the prom and the negative prom. Okay, this one is uh, really pretty advanced. Okay, the prom is advanced. I took this from internet and just mix and match. Shaman creature, you can say monkey creature, space shaman monkey creature by all these artist name. You can put whatever laying on grotesque surface and then you describe the lighting yeah all this we just gonna generate same thing let's see how fast this gonna take let's create 10 Okay, this one is running and this one is also running oh automatic one 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 or automatic eleven eleven is actually really fast it's only generating one i'm using proto gene anime what <laughs> yeah there is also yeah i should download the the other proto gene i can use the illuminati diffusion uh, if that's give you more interesting result let's create four oh sampling is low 20 sampling uh, CFG scale I can increase this let's create yeah I I can still talk like I can still make videos about control and there's so, so many things here that I haven't touched if it's uh, related to blender we can perhaps use the MLS MLS B. This one actually, if you draw lines and then with architecture prom, it will generate like environment. That's could be useful. And then segmentation. Segmentation is really cool. If you have a blender scenes with different color, what what's going on here? Is it working? Yeah, it's still loading. Oh, because I'm using this. Illuminati diffusions actually have really weird things. Yeah. It will still work. Monkey works. This one takes a bit longer. It it does look at this and then um, it's trying to create like a creature space on just this head. So the AI has really amazing <laughs> imaginations in a way. Yeah, it could be like a spider spider monkey. If you look at this, okay, this is like super simple. If your brain can then create something like this out of nothing, then you are like like truly like an artist. But uh, this is you can see how the there's like an artist mind behind the AI, which is incredible. You can play around with the weighting as well, make it closer to the original or further and further away. You can see how it's it looks at the monkey head. Okay, it find the monkey head. The rest of them will be just something else. So it's like the monkey shaman. This is like amazing. Uh, denoising strength. This one has a lot of effects. So this one is zero point seven five. So it's closer. It takes a lot of liberty. If we, if we, if I slide this, like zero point four eight, it's gonna be closer to this guy. It's gonna be less, less exciting, but still, uh, because this is part of your work. If you have something like a better three D, I only use the monkey heads, okay, most of the time. But in reality, you can took like a three D scan or make like a model, something that's really abstract. Maybe I should try that make a video just you know make random abstract and then do this again uh, yeah starting to look more and more like an alien 
and I'm only using a single model which is this protogene protogene there are all kind of protogene this anime one photorealism 5.8 it goes so fast maybe I should use one sometimes the example is a little bit not safe for work because it creates like a realistic human and everything with the clothing mm. is this one okay so this one's still working this one also still working This one takes around 20 seconds per generation once once the model is loaded. Okay, you see you can see it's closer to the original, which is just a basic monkey sculpture, if you want to call it that way. Not so exciting. Interrupt. Increase the denoising, however, keep it like z 0.65. Uh, and just run it oh you see however if you're thinking about sculpture just actually based on two monkey heads this one is also it's pretty beautiful and then you can tr actually try and sculpt it in blender and then now you are actually you're giving a little bit more based on this concept more of your input your actual actual work this one this kind of scalp if you someone tell you make something like this exactly looking like this how long is gonna take you a few hours maybe uh, with some CAD models but to make something like this maybe even a little bit longer yeah, this one seems to be yeah it, this one takes a little bit longer because it's doing two steps first pass second pass okay this is a uh, pretty advanced let's stop this what else I haven't tried uh, I can actually use canny and then we get this image and if we like this we can switch to depth map now it's using the depth map of this image it's gonna do calculations, um, estimations of depth map based on this image alone, and then it's gonna create ten more variations of this image. Um, yeah, let's see what do we have. Okay, the sculpture will get more and more intricate. Okay, we definitely have some monkeys happening it's not absolute okay this one is actually this one is quite beautiful form shape like it's a yeah this one is definitely like a like more commercial like a final result if you turn this into 3d it's really something that you can sell ah yeah monkey from this into this beautiful monkey head because we'd say space shaman monkey creature laying on grotesque surface now we're starting to get something that's completely further and further away from the original which is just two monkey heads but you can see the process okay so yeah the the draw things a uh, app so this is an app it's actually a uh, this one have no cost it's it runs on ipad and iphone as well i tried it but on iphone like i use it a lot and my iphone battery is now like 97 percent health which is not good but if you run it on on the mac os like i'm running on the mac mini m2 here so i don't need to worry about the battery it just runs from the electricity i, I don't know how many cycles it's gonna run until it dead it goes dead but yeah. it's better to run this AI stuff on a, on a, on a desktop computer um, the 
the negative prom is actually really important as well so don't leave that um, if you use mage, mage space explore you might find more ideas cyberpunk sculpture some of the result here can be not safe for work as well so be careful with this one you end up with all kind of sculptures like overload of ideas or visuals which could be could be a bad thing could be a good thing i don't know you you decide on that oh my computer my internet's too slow but you can find some ideas like positive and negative prompting and then you just copy paste it uh, okay yeah look look at all these really cool ideas let's see do we want suzanne a little, a little bit more like a skull copy the prompt this one doesn't have negative prompt okay interesting doesn't show the negative prompt but Grunge, uh, yeah, okay, that's a beautiful, seems like a beautiful prompt that we can simply use. Let, let's not use Illuminati, let's try Dreamlike Photoreal. It's gonna load the model. Each of the model range from 2 gigabyte, 5 gigabyte, sometimes 7 gigabyte, okay, so. Keep that in mind you will need one gigabyte hard drive or 512 512 will work as well however it gonna fills up your hard drive very very quickly so this there's this uh this all kind of factors okay one key tips we can stop now let's create four based on a different one from mage I quite like this one, this neon operator. Okay, detail portrait neon operator, neon operator, monkey head, oh. tongue rope skeleton. This will use the last image. So something to keep in mind: this draw things app is really. Uh, a little bit different compared to web UI here we are keeping the original source image and the control net and we have uh, results and we always source the same one with draw things app it takes this last image and then use the depth map uh, yeah or canny and then create something based on it so it's a uh, the way I think of AI or synth AI creations, you know, like uh, it's not, it's more like a, let's say if I, if I don't like this, can I delete? I really like the monkey. This one, for example, I really like this one. I want to use this as a start, as a starting image for, for the new prompt. Yeah, I think of AI art is more like an open-ended um, explorations. It should never be like a final artwork. The final artworks, uh, it's something that you you inspired by, and then it's like a concept art, and then you create something based on that. If if uh, this image becomes the final, right, you can use it of course, of course, like a, for wallpaper. You print it for yourself. If you start selling it, make it making it like a like a T-shirt. I don't know it's a still gray area as a as a real like a like artist you 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 want to paint and draw something or get you know get a little bit dirty and make 3d models based on this concept still it's uh, my brain still thinking okay what else what else i'm gonna talk about I think I missed something to talk about. 
Yeah, this is more like a cyber, very modern. This one is more like out of ordinary, like uh, totally somewhere 1000 years in the future. This one is more like sci-fi, old school type. Still pretty cool. This monkey has... Yeah, it's not... Because I'm using dev data, right? Maybe. I have an idea. We start again. Fresh. But we're gonna source the image from Shaman. Mr. Shaman over here. And then use Kenny. Kenny Edge map detection. <laughs> Our prompt disappear. But we can go back to the the cool shaman that we have earlier. Take this. Negative prom is also needed. Generate. Yeah. Oh, the seed also. With draw things app, the seed does not randomly change, but you can click here and then you get the different seed. Uh, the steps, twenty by default text guidance. This is the way that you can control normally between four and twelve. The strength. 100% from this original image you can actually reduce this and it's gonna be closer to the original image so it's diffusing diffusing new ideas visual ideas while keeping the original image input if you have the original ima image without the original image you just use uh, it's just gonna use the prompt and then gonna create something based on that and the model also there's so many models out there you can take the anime models or maybe Lego all kind of different models to take you where you want to go so it's really open-ended it should be like never-ending inspirations if it looks like a final image like a mid-journey mid mid-journey art is actually a little bit more like a final output mid-journey Mid journey is actually interesting. Like the result is always looking like a kind of final, or some of them looks like a concept, of course, but some of them looks like complete and final. Maybe you can kind of remix this idea, but it looks final. That's what I think. But with the stable diffusions. You kind of because you exposed to all this kind of like endless artworks and I I believe that our brain is also trained to have this kind of visual complexity so your future art might be a little bit more complex than you think oh yeah one more thing I forgot to say is uh, okay blender why I keep back and forth between blender and different apps why don't i just use blender and use something like dream texture and just use the depth projections okay the depth projection have bugs time to time again this add-on still have bugs at the moment it has bugs where the where the resulting depth projection is a little bit offset so i don't, I don't like that i need to wait for a fix but dream texture projection works really well if it works and I found that draw things app might give a faster result with more interesting quality and web UI also this one also give me faster result a little bit more advanced than uh, just using dream textures um, <clears throat> and there's another thing that the open post stuff there's uh, there's so much so much going on at the moment like with the AI stuff 
and I try to bring all of those back into Blender and Blender workflow because in the end we re we want to create like a some kind of artworks whether it's looking like 3D or realistic or stylistic but in a way to create something in and out of Blender into maybe a game engine or yeah but I think that's kind of going in the loop in a way so AI give you inspirations you look at the visual your brain learns about the, the, the details and visuals and maybe you start drawing this you know just doodle just draw it even though it's not perfect you start to learn about the details about the whole process okay so yeah so that's all i want to talk about about in this video hopefully this is useful thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye